What's going on, guys? Eric here with MajorLeagueTrading.com. And I want to apologize first. I haven't uh, put up a video in quite some time here on YouTube. Been working on a bunch of new content for uh, the new courses that are going to be getting released. So I just kind of put the videos on pause. Uh, but those course content should be done about this week later on. So I'm uh, going to try and get back into the grind of these videos for you guys and the daily breakdowns. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and take a look at today's action. And what I've done for today, what I'm looking at going into tomorrow here um, and kind of, you know, what the game plan was coming into this morning. So pull it up on the screen right now. You can see I uh, have the NASDAQ here queued up on the chart and what i was looking for this morning honestly was for 7808 quarters to hold this market um and for us to then you know push higher from that point now 7808 quarters held in the overnight session if we turn the extended session chart on here you'll see i'm gonna go ahead and maximize this cell as well real quickly there um, you'll notice here we came down and then obviously this level is put in prior to all of this stuff going on. Uh, we came down, we held that level to the tick there, 7808 quarters. And you can see we've actually traded it once, twice, and then now trying to push through on the third test here for today. And what I ended up doing was one of two things. Number one is I took a loss this morning. So um, when we came down here and we kind of cracked these lows down in here to um, 99s and then we cracked 98.75s and then on this last little test right here this bar to 96.50s that actually ended up kind of cracking what would be Friday's lows um, so I went ahead and stepped into a small position right there you can see that position did not last long ended up stopping out there and then I had to wait um, until we traded down here into 7780s which was the next level of support for us uh, I was able to pick up a small long position in the Nasdaq there recover some of the loss and a little bit of gain there. So up total on the day here for the NASDAQ in the day trading account, $228. In the Dow here up $63.20. So $291 or whatever that ends up being here for the day in the uh, day trades here. You can see Russell is zero, S&P is zero as well there. So um, what I did though off of this level, I did take a couple other trades down in here off 7780s. Um, I took a Nadex position where we bought the 7778s uh, for the, I believe they were the 10 o'clock expiration time. Um, those ended up expiring uh, in the money. So I think we picked those up for in Nadex. So we picked up 7778s for 10 a.m. We bought those for $52.50. Those expired absolutely um, in the money there. And then we also picked up the 7780s for 11 a.m., which we were able to uh, pick those up for $52.25. And we were able to sell those out at 75.25 and then at 91 quarter kind of right up in here. So decent little scalps off this 7780 there in the NASDAQ for Nadex. I'll do another video on that and actually kind of include those um, as some example plays there and why I took those um, in another video here. But the trade I want to focus on for today right now um, also comes from the NASDAQ here. And I'm going to go ahead and detach this order window and bring it over. What you guys will see here is, um, here we go. So what I've got right now, I've got one long contract on in the NASDAQ. I uh, was able to scoop this one just two ticks off the low of the day. So uh, if we scroll down here, you'll see the low of the day ends up being... 77, 77.50s there, um, and we picked up this long at 77.78. It is just one contract here, uh, but up 620 bucks on the day at the moment. So I picked this up this morning here off of the 77.80 level, um, and my goal with this position is to swing trade it um, up into 8,000. So if it hits 8,000, uh, then this trade will be good for $222 in profits in the NASDAQ, which I think is just kind of a funny, good profit target number. Um, and the $8,000 whole print for the NASDAQ. Now I've got uh, stop loss in here at 79 quarters. So I went ahead and just locked in uh, a point and a quarter there. So $25 on this trade um, and just going to look to ride this one out to the upside. So if you guys are watching this video 
tonight or in the future or whatever, you'll know whether this position ends up coming back and stopping me out here um, under 79 quarters or if this market has rallied up and hit that $8,000 profit potential that I'm looking at there for the NASDAQ. So um, I'm going to hold on to this position, see how it works out, and you guys can follow along with it. Uh, I got some smaller levels here that I think we can kind of trade up into here. It's 335 Eastern. Um, I think we'll kind of rally up and test the 78, 22, 75s here before the bell. So I'm going to be paying attention to that. Um, we had a couple other trade ideas on the day. Uh, number one being the Russell is just weak on the day. If we kind of survey the board here, you know, S&Ps are down 0.32% on the day. NASDAQ down 0.5% right now. Dow down 0.26% and the Russell down 1.01% on the day. So Russell is just absolutely cranking to the downside here um, and not showing any signs of reprieve there so far. Uh, and it, we'll take a look at that, pull it up on the screen, and then I'll show you guys a trade set up here um, from this morning as well uh, for today. So you can see Russell here just, you know, chugging along to the downside there. Now, in the description below, I'm going to put um, a couple links, number one being the morning trade plan. So each and every morning, if you guys are new to Major League Trading and you're new to watching this video, um, thank you guys for you know finding us. And the first one is going to be the free video that I do in the morning, which is where I'm kind of sharing my thoughts and analysis with you guys on what I'm looking to do here. Uh, the 7808 quarter level in the NASDAQ, the 7780 all those were given out in the pre-market session for uh, for today. One thing I do want to point out here, and I believe I can pull this up. Let me double check here. Yep. All right. So let me detach this window and I'll pull it over and kind of show you guys a little something on what I was looking for with that trade. But going back before I do that, going back to uh, the links in the description, one's going to be the morning trade plan. So you guys want to click that subscribe button and that's going to let you know when I go live each and every morning uh, where I'm sharing my thoughts and analysis and what I think this market's going to do for the day. Um, and then the second video is going to be the live trading session that uh, happened today. And that's where you actually get to hear me talk about the positions that I'm looking to take, uh, the Nadex trades, this uh, 7778 trade in the NASDAQ, uh, the loss that I took early on in the morning there, um, all of that fun stuff. So, um, all that is through the MLT Discord. There's a link in the description below where you guys can join that as well. But these are the other levels we were looking for to trade here today. Um, and one thing I want to point out with this kind of 77, 78 trade that I took off the lows, it was actually a divergence trade. If you're looking at this chart right now, the 955 bar, which is where that low of 7750 was set. If you look, the NASDAQ at that moment in time got new lows. The S&Ps, the Russell, and the Dow were not on their lows at that moment in time. They were close to lows for the S&Ps, uh, but we did not get new lows here in the Dow. We did not get new lows right here in the Russell, and we did not get new lows here in the S&Ps. So I really liked that. Uh, I wish there would have been a signal in here in the NASDAQ. That would have been a little bit better, I think. But nonetheless, it still ended up being um, so far a decent little trade and it's locked in break even. We'll see how it works out. Um, next up here, um, I talked about it this morning where, you know, if we end up trading in the S&Ps, these 75 75s, you know, on a first, second and third test, most likely it's going to end up breaking through. But then in the, um, in the, in the morning power hour, the, where you guys get to see me trade live for the first hour, hour and a half, I talked about where... If the S&Ps end up getting a divergence trade down here, it can still be looked at as a trade, even though we're testing these levels. And that's exactly what ended up happening today. You can see we do have three signals in place here for the S&Ps, one, two, and then three. This final, excuse me, this final one being um, the one that actually ends up working out so far, back up to opening print so far in the net, in the S&Ps here. Um, High print on this is 76 quarter, low print is 73 quarter, so it's a three point bar. And so far we've rallied about five points or so off the highs of that bar. And like I said, I think this is going to continue to push a little bit higher here for the S&Ps. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys this divergence trade. 
Um, we had three signals on the day, only two of them triggered. One of them would have been a stop out potentially or a break even. Um, and then the second one here that it actually ended up triggering, you could still be in this position at the moment uh, and still working your way to the upside there. So that was at the 1425 bar. Uh, if you're confused about the divergence or anything like that, feel free to leave me a comment below. Uh, questions and all that. It is um, one of the main strategies that I use and something that I teach in the MLT Pro course. Um, and like I said at the beginning of the video, all the content and stuff I've been putting together, just taking up a ton of time. Um, and that all should be kind of wrapping up this week and excited to share it with you guys. So that's what I got for this video. Um, actually, let me take a look here before I do that. Uh, kind of take a look at the NASDAQ here, kind of see where we're going for tomorrow potentially if we can and charts are loading a little slow here Oop. there we go and i'm going to maximize the cell so if you guys are watching this tonight then you'll kind of see what i'm looking at for tomorrow here in the nasdaq so Couple things. I'm going to leave the 77.80 level in place. I'm going to add a new level in here at 77.96.50s. If we trade 77.96.50s in the overnight session, uh, sometime between six o'clock Eastern tonight and tomorrow at the bell, uh, I would expect 96.50s to get a bid in the Nasdaq here. If they don't, and we crack 77.96.50s, good probability we're going to trade 77.80s. And then if 7780s crack, we've got a lot more room to go to the downside here. Again, my bias is to the upside at the moment. Uh, again, I do have a position on in there, which we just talked about. Um, and I think targets for tomorrow in the NASDAQs are going to come in at 78, 70, 75s. Um, and then through there, we're going to look at, you know, up towards 8,000. This price action right inside of here, this little, uh, if I can draw a box. This little box area right there is not something I'm going to pay attention to. That was the Thursday, July 4th holiday. Um, I disregard any holiday action on my charts when I'm looking and doing analysis and where I think price is going to be going. So um, anyways, that's that. All right, guys, that's what I actually finally do have for you guys on this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, please give me a thumbs up on this video. If you are new around here and you have not already done so, click that subscribe button. It is absolutely free. And like I said, I'm going to be stepping up uh, and bringing you guys videos each and every day. So thank you. Take care, trade safe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.